Since then, go navigating. Look at you navigating like a bat. All right, guys, so we've had a ton of requests for more content with Cinder, our eyeless cat. Now, uh, you're like, what? What did he just say? If you didn't see the other videos, um, our cat here, he was found as a stray and his eyes were super infected and they had to remove both eyes in their entirety. So, he has no eyeballs at all. And yet, as you can see, he navigates around really, really well. And chowing down. And you saw when I was calling him, he comes right over like, when you first meet him and you see him around the house, a lot of people don't even realize he doesn't have eyes because he acts like a regular cat. It is astounding at how well he can navigate around the house and he moves around, he jumps up the couch, he gets on the table, he jumps down off the table. I have no idea how he does a face plant. Like he knows the distance and he does it. I mean, it is absolutely incredible. And, and Clover is like, why am I not the center of attention? <laughs> why, why don't I? Hi, yes, you're being so good, yes. So let me see if I can show you guys. Sorry, I'm gonna take this back for a second. And I'm gonna I'm gonna walk over there and see if he'll he'll follow, you know? Cinder. Come here, buddy. Come here, kitty kid. Cinder. Look at that. Like, you would have no idea he doesn't have eyes. He just hopped right up here. No big deal. Absolutely incredible at how well he can just navigate around the house. Now, what does happen though, is when he gets really excited, like first thing in the morning for breakfast, you know, he hasn't eaten all night, so he's hungry, and he comes running out for breakfast, and then he will run right into stuff. I mean, normally he navigates the house really well at his normal pace like that, but when he's really excited about food, I mean, he just goes right into this table, just, I mean, or into me all the time, because he hears my footsteps, and then he runs into my legs, and it's first thing in the morning, you're half asleep, and you're, uh, you know, and blind cat trying to kill himself under your feet. So, but as you can see, very happy. Oh, no, 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 the cat was not for you. So a lot of people asked how uh, the cat and the dog get along. They get along amazingly well, other than Clover wanting to eat all of Cinder's food. That's the only bad part. But um, otherwise, Clover has basically like, adopted Cinder and they constantly are just together. They're inseparable and they're always playing and you see uh, Clover will be like, on top of the cat and just like rah, just like all on his face and the cat loves it you know it's not like mean or anything like that and they, they get along amazingly well and uh the cat seeks out clover as well and then clover is also uh still on the dog's bed <laughs> so that's that's really cute and they're both six months old oh yeah yeah just, i mean they're like the same age yeah yeah what's that cat doing but see the cat can't do anything without clover uh investigating is he gonna go use the litter box Finding his way. Yeah, he, I mean, for being completely blind, he pops up there. He knows. It's just crazy. Like, you, okay. Well, that was maybe less graceful than normal. Okay. It's amazing how only now. Oh my god. Well, yeah, he, he does better usually. Look at his face. Cindy, what happened? Sin Sin. So we also call him Cinder Block. Come on, Cinder Block. Hi, babe. Oh, yeah. So for those of you who are new, this is Zazu, and he's our educational hornbill, and we use him when we're uh, talking to kids and things like that. So he's pretty awesome, and so a lot of people are asking, how's the cat do with the birds? Um, since he doesn't know what Zazu is, he can't see him, but he hears him, and it's loud, he's actually scared of Zazu. So when Zazu goes and flies around, you can see Cinder, like, he goes and hides, which is not a bad thing, okay? <laughs> you know, we don't want him trying to eat Zazu or anything like that. And uh, we have five rescue birds, so definitely we don't want the cat trying to eat any of them. Oh, he likes those new nails, huh? I know. You like my nails? And Zazu's curious about the cat, too. But if he gets close, the cat runs away. Get that dog, Zazu. Get that dog. Get that dog. 
get that dog. And of course we train the dog to be okay with the bird too. Yeah, we get, a lot of people ask about that, you know, and so of course we train everybody to get along and not try to kill each other. <laughs> well, except for Zazu. He's, but Clover here knows better. He wants to play. He's like, I'll play your game. So since he doesn't have any eyes, uh, basically the way we have to enrichment and play with him is by things that are smelly or sound. So right now we're gonna take him outside for a little bit. He is only inside, of course, which is how you should be with any cat, but especially one that's blind. And so we're gonna take him outside for a little bit and let him explore. And we have Clovey is gonna come with us so that she doesn't feel left out. Come on, Clovey. Lot going on. What do you think, Sinson? Got those radar dishes up there. What do you think, Cinder? Okay. Hi. Like good boy. Yeah. Maybe he'll feel more comfortable if you just carry him, so he can still smell. Oh, he's, he's looking around. He's looking around. What? Well, really? <laughs> he's looking around. He is. Uh. Hearing around. Are you exploring? Do you want to go smell the flowers? Ooh, is that smell good? Ooh, what's happening? You want to touch? You want to touch that? Wow. What do you think, Simpson? You want to go down? Look around. Look around. Look around. Feel yep. Around. See, you said it too. Yes. Look at that, huh? You smell everything. Look at that, huh? You smell Baby. Everything? I know. It's so hard. It, you got me for it first. It looks like he's looking around. Obviously, he's not. <laughs> he's smelling around. There's so much to smell. And hearing. What? And hearing. I know. There's so much going on. I definitely think his other senses are heightened. Like, He's like Daredevil. You can go boy Simpson. Yes, go boy Simpson. No purr machine. Oh, you purring? Yes, you happy boy. You having fun? You exploring? Are you a little explorer? There's so much to hear. Where's Clover going? Do you hear the keys? Yeah. All right, so that's our little update on Cinder here. And if you guys have any other questions about him, let us know in the comments. And we definitely want to show you some videos of him when he's playing, because he's really, really cute. Like he'll do this thing where he sits on the couch and he's just pawing at space and because he hears that you're somewhere over there it's the cutest thing i've ever seen we definitely gotta get a video of that but uh then we will also have some updates on tiktok the ball python everybody's asking about that and so uh we'll get those to you guys soon hope you enjoyed hit like comment subscribe all that fun stuff and we'll see you guys on the next video